Hi. So I just got home and I had a package from Amazon on the porch and I thought it was this little tube of stuff that I had bought. I guess it's coming from China or something. I mean, that's why it's cheap. <laughs> anyway, Alyssa, you bought this for me. I can't believe. And it's been such a bad day. Thank you, Melissa. I can't believe it. Okay, you bought something for me. I can't. I can't think of the last time anybody. Sorry. on my wish list 200 crochet stitches and I need it it's just all these stitches so many things I can make Let me get my scissors out of here. Ah, oh, princess. Are you coming to assist? <laughs> She's coming to help. Besides Noel knocking me down to get outside, she was the first one that came to say hello. The other, I had to find the other ones. Okay. Go beat your butt. Go beat your butt. She's so sweet. Go on. Go beat your butt. Go find some place. Go. <laughs> Stop. Don't you knock it off. Okay. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? My lucky charm. That's perfect for now, right? And this. Pretty. Wet and Wild Multi Stick Semi Matte. And you knew. Oh, I wish you, you were here so I could give you a hug. My color pop blue moon. Remember I dropped it and broke it into a thousand pieces? <sighs> it's not let's see if I can get it open. It's childproof. Ugh. Look at those colors. Ah, oh, I love them. They're so pretty. I'm gonna be super careful with this one. Super careful. And then one more. I know, right? So cool. Teal eyeshadow palette. Nine colors. 
me see if I can get it open. It's also childproof. This means so much. This is like birthday and Christmas all rolled up into one. Okay. I'm gonna get into it eventually, I know. I have a feeling. Ziggy, stop. I don't know if you could hear that. He plays, it's a, um, I was gonna say app, it's a program, a skill for A-L-E-X-A. And when she barks, it plays classical music. Really low, cause dogs can hear real well. But it plays classical music to calm her down. Okay, I finally got into it. <laughs> Look at those colors, aren't they pretty? And it's got little dolphins impressed in, on it. <laughs> impressed on it. Ah! Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I don't, honestly, I don't know what to say besides thank you. This is fantastic. It's been such a day, too. I was so mad. I was almost started crying this morning. But that's the way it is sometimes at work, isn't it? <laughs> I saw my cameras that the Prime guy came, and I thought, oh, well, my little tube of Clinique got here. But it wasn't. I had to quit smiling. <laughs> but yeah, today was a day. <sighs> and this, this made it great. And thank you. Thank you, Melissa. And it's great that I'm able to share everything with y'all. And I thought about y'all. I answered some of y'all's comments. Most all of them, all that I saw this morning. Um, oh, cat fight. They're always arguing. I worked on this today. I think it's going to be a lap blanket. It can be a lap blanket. It's very thick. Or if I put it together like this, it could be um, a shawl. I don't know. It's very warm though. Well, that's one cool thing when you crochet. You get to cover up while you're crocheting. I mean, what else are you gonna do with it, right? And it kept my legs nice and warm. So, probably a good lap blanket. I don't know. Let me know. Should I make it a shawl or a lap blanket? If I make it a shawl... No, I don't have to. It can just be a lap blanket or a shawl, right? Whatever somebody wants. They can use it for a shawl. They can use it for a lap blanket. Who's they? I don't know. I told y'all about Grandpa Cat, right? The one that was really hurt, but he was wild. You couldn't catch him. I thought he, he thought he passed away, but all of a sudden he's back after months. 
<laughs> when I, I walked up the ramp, at the top of the ramp is where I have cat food. I also put cat food out here um, at the patio door because um, some cats don't want other cats eating. <clears throat> well, when I walked up the ramp, Grandpa was sitting next to the bowls. And there was still cat food in the bowls from early this morning at 3 a.m. Some cat food. But it still was, you know, probably a cup's worth if you combine the two bowls. I guess he protected it all day. <laughs> so nobody else could have it? I don't know. Why would it still be there? Because usually it's gone. He's, he's He or she is a scrapper. I know that. Oh, I got to put my um, pieces of wood on my burn barrel because it's supposed to rain. Computer, when is it supposed to rain? Rain is possible starting at 4 p.m. It should end by 5 p.m. You can expect about 0.12 inches. <laughs> I'm going to hold her to that. My zero sugars, this, I've had it for quite a while in the refrigerator. It is winter spiced cranberry. That's pretty good. I'm usually a pretty boring person, but this, this tastes pretty good. Pretty good. I've had it since probably Christmas. A friend of mine, she bought it for me. Cancel. She's listening. She's always listening. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I've been drinking it. Tastes pretty good. A little different, obviously. I'm so excited. And that stitch book. I'm going to go in there and look and see what kind of stitches I can find that I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of stitches I don't know, but that I haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm about to be finished with this. And I know I've already started on something else. I showed y'all, right? I think I have. Sorry for the crinkly crinkle crinkly bag. Got it from the uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. What is it now? 25? 75? 25. Oh, 25. I've showed y'all this, right? I think I have. With Karen color on my halo. I got it also for Christmas. I got a gift card and I've been wanting these so bad from the same friend who got me the um, Sprite. She got me the Sprite. Anyway, I made her a blankie for Christmas. She sent me a picture of it on the foot of her bed. She says it'll be good for cool nights. Anyway, this is the stitch. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's just going to be a wrap or if it's going to be like this one. If it's just going to be like a shrug, like this one. My cousin bought me this yarn. If I can get this on myself. <laughs> it's hard to do it while I'm sitting here. <laughs> and this is a different pattern. Oh, see, now it's all crooked back there. This is a different pattern than the other one I made. I mean, it's not, it's a different pattern. But as far as like the same way I made it, the other one, um, I made another one. I made a couple of them. I think a couple like this. Shrugs. You're supposed to be able to shrug into them and shrug out of them. Well, it's not so easy, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> so, anywho, yeah. 
but I, um, I got this from, I went to Walmart yesterday and I got my shots. Now, to be fair, not all of this came from yesterday's. It's a combination because I have, and I've already used up the whole scheme and I started working on the purple again, but I have the colors that match. So I started adding those colors. Like I added this pink and then later, which is what I'm doing now, I went back to the purple and I had this one already too. So I'm adding on with this. Right now I'm using this one and the purple, I think. Yes. That's what I'm doing, the blue and the purple right now. It's super warm. Super, super. So. But I think that that's, I think that's why, what my problem is, is my um, hemoglobin is low. I know it was low because I, I looked at it online, but we never talked about it, me and the doctor. I didn't think about it. That's why I'm bruising. And I think that's why I was really cold. That and my blood pressure is going too low. But my medicine's been adjusted and now I'm not feeling like that anymore. Thank goodness. Because it was horrible. I couldn't even walk down the hall at work. I would have to hold the wall. The long hallway. I'd just be like I was drunk. And that's with my um, tennis shoe type shoes on. Yeah. When I get the nerve, I've had this for quite a while. I'm going to use this for my nails. And I think I might do it on a video. When, I don't know. Let me see. Try not to drop stuff in the crack of the couch. Y'all know how that is. <sighs> Gotta get on the floor and low crawl. Anywho, there's the different colors. And then you use these. Number one, two, three, and yeah, four. <laughs> I don't want it looking crazy. Once you get this hard stuff on there, it's a lot of filing to get it back off. Here's a little cute, cute little nail file. I've had this for quite a while, quite a while. Y'all know my situation. Since dad passed, it's just me. Trying to make the bills. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. So, I must have had some extra money. Extra money? What's that? Or, anybody heard of a firm? I don't know how. I, I guess I learned about it on Prime. Because it's like there was an option to pay. I'm like, firm, what's that? Yeah. All this yarn you see and stuff. Well, besides the stuff that's gifted to me. I'm paying on it. I'll be paying on it till, I don't know, the 12th. Never. I have an issue. I have a shopping problem. I've had that problem since I was a kid. I remember the first time. That's how ridiculous I was. I remember, I'd always go to the store with mom. I'm the oldest. Me and then my brother. My brother's two years younger than me. And I remember going to the store. And every time I went to the store, I went to a place. We went to the Piggly Wigglies. We went to Whackers. We went to Wine Gardens. What's another one? Bells. We 
anyway. I think I was in the grocery store. I have the impression we were in the grocery store. And I wanted something. A toy. I'm sure it was a toy. Because it was food. It would be different. But it was a toy. And I said I wanted it. Mom told me no. And I'm like, why? She says, we can't afford it right now. I remember that because I was so... It was the first time I guess I was told no as far as toys go. It was a brat. My mama tried really hard for a long time to have a baby. And she lost Mary Kathleen. She would have been about two years older than me. She went full term with her. She's buried out next to dad and mom and all of our, not all of our, but a lot of our relatives. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've always had a shopping problem. I remember <laughs> in my 20s and back when you wrote checks and I bounced some checks accident not on purpose I would never do something like that on purpose I bounced some checks and I remember I started a bonfire in the backyard and I'd sit there crying burning my checkbooks because of the the bank fees <laughs> but I was burning them suckers so I'm like I ain't around another hot check I, like I said I didn't know they were it was hot at the time I was just young and stupid. Now I'm old and stupid. <laughs> oh, I still remember. Underneath the mulberry trees, or right near the mulberry trees, not right under, right next to them. Burning. Burning them checkbooks. And they were going up pretty good, too. <laughs> then I had to tell my husband. He didn't care. I was like, whatever. He's a pretty good guy. But like I said, things don't things don't work out all the time. Oh. I'm hoping you can hear me good. I have a tendency to talk. Well, you know. Y'all know me by now. I have a ten tendency to mumble or start talking on one level and then quiet as I talk. I think my case is the problem. I think that the case, there's a, a piece, it's not in here, but it's, so there's the microphone, right? And then there's the piece that you plug into like the little mic port. Well, I think it can't quite get in there and that's why it's it keeps kind of barely coming back up and I think that's the problem so I might get out a pair of scissors or a knife or something and cut that little spot see what it see if it ruins the case or not because it's rubbery it's it's not a, a hard case my cell phone case I had to I ordered it from Timu. It said that it would fit my phone. Well, it did not fit my phone. But I got the knife after it. And I cut some sp a spot. I cut one spot where I needed to be able to push a button. And there you go. <laughs> Works fine. I've got another one that fits perfectly from Timu. It's real cute, but it doesn't fit in my, you know, the thing in the car where, where you put your phone. It won't fit in there with that. It's got a little bear on the back, and it turns, and you can turn it, and its little feet come out, and it holds the phone up. Well, it won't, because it's on the back of there, it won't let you put it on the, on the thingamajigger. Sure is pretty outside. The leaves, I love the new leaves because they're the light green. And you walk outside and there's all these, it doesn't last very long, but all these trees with the light green leaves. So pretty. 
those princes. Luna's not happy with me, and she probably doesn't feel good. I had to give her a shot this morning. Ugh, she got me pretty good. Well, not too bad. But her nail went into my arm. Poor baby. She. I went into the guest room because that's where she was laying was on the bed. To her butt. She's like, I remember. I thought about it all day, and now I don't feel good. You stuck something in my behind. It's not, it's in the back. You pull up the skin and then you put the needle in. And you do that while you're trying to hold the cat. And the cat is hollering and clawing. Poor baby. $41 for, literally, it's a very tiny syringe. And it's, if my fingernail to fingernail, it's about that much of a steroid. Same kind that we get in a pill form where you get a whole bottle for hardly nothing. But your doctor won't prescribe them to you unless you need them. <laughs> and besides, I would never do that because I don't... I mean, now, don't get me wrong. If I could force one of them pills down her throat... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I would. But the problem is, I don't need those steroids anymore. Knock on wood. Maybe if I, God forbid, got sick, I'd have to get pretty sick. But used to, I had to get them all the time. But I also weighed how much? A lot more than I do now. Though I still need to lose a lot. I've lost Okay. Okay. So that's a hundred and fifty. Around a hundred and sixty pounds, give or take. I'd have to actually ask a the numbers, and I don't want to say how much I weighed or how much I weigh now, but I've lost a lot, and I feel a lot better. I physically feel a lot better. Yeah. So, um, I talked to my cousin on the way home. My cousin and my friend that got me the um, the drink. They were visiting. That's how I met. Um, I met because that's her friend. And they helped raise my little cousins. And she's a very sweet lady. We have um, lunch sometime. So we go to Cats and have lunch. Cats is so good. I get a tuna melt. I don't eat nothing else. I eat that tuna melt. And I eat um, broccoli cheddar um, soup. And I usually have that soup for the next day, depending on where I'm at in my shot process, how many days it's been. <laughs> Sometimes I can eat soup when I get home. Who knows? But uh, that shot makes you eat a lot less, obviously. Obviously. I lost a lot of weight to do that. Anyway. So I talked to my cousin about why I was so upset. And she told me what I need to do is pray about it. God knows. He sees. He can fix. He's God. So, anyway, um, other than that, I still haven't went out with my zip ties to try to fix fence. I'm not going to try. I'm going to fix that fence if I can find the zip ties. But I haven't looked yet to see if I have them. If I don't have them, I'll get some eventually. Right now, I have to, like, lift the gate and walk with it. It's a big gate. It's a big cattle gate. That's what I use. <laughs> I do not have any cattle. <laughs> Only a dog and a whole lot of cats. Four cats inside, but multi-cats outside. Cause I can't afford to get them all fixed. Anyway. 
So, y'all have a fantastic day. I'm going to look through this book. And I'm going to write in this book that I got it from Melissa. So cool. These stitches are so neat. Oh, and I've been wanting to do a border like that. A lace edging. Pretty, 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 pretty. Look at these borders. Oh. Look at that. Striped fans. How cool. Granny Rick Rack. There's a drunk granny too. Granny Stitch. It's called Drunk Granny. I wonder if that's in here. Wow. Oh my gosh, that one's like flowers. Holy Toledo. Oh yeah. There I go. I've already found what I'm making next. I gotta finish that. No, I don't. No, I don't. I can, I can start another one. When I very first started crocheting for months, I'm like, I will not do more than one at a time. Right now, I've got three. I've got three. I think I have four. Because I'm going to make the flower one. It's so pretty. That's going to be a wrap. I'm going to make a flower wrap. Yeah, probably. Probably a wrap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll just use a uh, basic, Premier Basic yarn. I'll use whatever color I want to make the flower. Then green for the stems. And then for the border on top and bottom, brown like it is in here. It's a light brown. Because you've got the ground for each level. It's cool looking. Just wait. I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you. All right, it's been 32 minutes, and um, thank y'all for hanging out with me and making my evening great. Gifts or no gifts, y'all are my gifts, each one of you, Melissa and all of you, you're my gifts, and I thank you so much for being there for me and with me. Your comments are so wonderful. I sit there grinning like a nut reading them and you make life much more happy and um thank you i love y'all i really do god bless you each and every one all right i'll talk to you in the morning bye